just so cute. She's just sitting here, chilling out, listening to everything. Just any second now, she's going to go try to get to me. It's always the quiet before the storm. She acts like she's not going to do anything. And then all of a sudden she'll dart. She darts. And then she gets so excited, she pees on me. So anyone who thinks, oh, they'd love to have a pet bat, realize they get excited, they pee on you. Which is kind of nice in a way. Because they that's showing how much they love you. I love you so much I'm gonna pee on you. I'm so excited to see you I'm gonna pee on you. Right? I get so happy to see you. She just ate, so she's just chilling. Just relaxing and chilling. The little, look at that tummy. Look at that tummy. And a little gray flex in there. You say, oh, what well, can you get? See, they have really sharp toes and really sharp thumbs. And you could say, well, you know, well, we can't cut them. Definitely not. But they need that. They need that to be able to climb trees. So, and to hang on trees. So, you know, for people to think, oh, well, they'd be so much nicer if they didn't have that. Well, then they wouldn't survive. So everything on a bat is to make it survive. So to not having the muscles in your legs to make you as light as possible. Their wings are made for flight. That's why they need the sun for strong bones. And everything about them is to, I mean, even with their fur, when it gets wet, it dries so quickly. They're just made for, for flight. So they could do their little job of pollinating and she is falling to sleep. She is gone for the count. But then she rises, she rises, and she's awake. And look at those beautiful nose, the beautiful nose. Mm -hmm. You sleepy, you sleepy girl.